Welcome to the Rustic Garden. Today I'm going to show you how to use coffee grounds in your garden with your tomatoes and peppers and you can use this with other vegetables. One place you don't want to use coffee grounds is don't really use them with your seedlings when they're in small containers like this or your transplants when they're in cups. Coffee grounds can have a little bit of acidity to them. You don't want to be mixing a lot of stuff in your starting mixes. You're just going to mess up your plants. You just want starting mix, liquid soluble fertilizer. That does the best for your seed starts. We're going to use coffee grounds in the garden. You can use them in compost piles, which would be basically just dropping your coffee grounds into your compost, letting it break down over time. You can also mix it into the soil. I'll talk about that. And I'm going to show you really how to use it um, with your mulch on top of your soil and take care of your pepper and tomato plants. And one thing that's really cool is these three bags um, of coffee grounds come from Starbucks. You can go in there, you can get them for free. They're in these silver bags with grounds for your garden labels stuck right on them and they're free. You can go there practically every day, pick them up. People don't tend to take them, so get as many as you want and this will be enough to do this whole space right here. And again, these bags are free. Get them at Starbucks. It's a lot of coffee grounds in here. Now, to use them with your mulch, you're going to get two things out of it. Coffee has an NPK of a 2 and 2 nitrogen, a 0.5 about of phosphorus and a 0.5 of potassium. The potassium and phosphorus are soluble. They are immediately ready to be used up by your plant. So as it rains, this will wash in. The nitrogen, the 2, the nitrogen is not water soluble. That's going to have to be broken down by soil life and that's okay because for tomatoes and peppers as they're growing you don't want a lot of nitrogen you don't want a lot of leaf growth on your peppers on your tomatoes so a lower nitrogen is fine the coffee grounds come just like this they're nice and fine and just spread them across your mulch just like that I wouldn't solely mulch with coffee grounds but you're putting it a nice quarter inch layer all over and again this is going to give your garden your peppers your tomatoes an immediately available a soluble form of potassium very low but immediately available of potassium and phosphorus and you would just go ahead and do this across your whole mulched area and then just work it in mix this up the nitrogen that's going to come out of here when your worms and micro uh, microbiology of the soil break it down will mix in with the wood and will help break the wood down so a year from now you could mix this shredded hardwood into your garden now a lot of people ask me what kind of wood do you use for your mulch and I use the shredded hardwood because it's fine a lot of surface area and it breaks down quickly let me finish this up talk more about coffee grounds and show you how you then would work it into the soil if you're not using mulch and I'll do that with my tomatoes you really can't beat free and one bag of coffee grounds, this one is empty, this was actually Espresso ESP, covers a four foot by four foot area. About a quarter inch of coffee grounds on top of your wood mulch, mix it in. I haven't mixed this in yet but I wanted to let you see what it looks like. And you can do this every three or four weeks. It will help out your garden. I'm going to finish up uh, this part of the garden by taking care of those tomatoes. But you're going to get a fertilizer, an organic fertilizer with a, a 2 nitrogen, a 0.5 phosphorus, a 0.5 potassium. And the potassium and phosphorus will be available to the root systems of your plant and can be used right away. Again, the nitrogen is going to have to break down over time. But if you take the time, pick up one bag, you're going to be able to do this throughout your garden the whole summer. And again, people don't really tend to take it. So if you go in, you know the people, ask them, they'll save them for you. And you can get three, four, five bags a week and take care of your garden. Now I want to show you how you would work it into the soil. That's another way to do it. And you want to keep a ratio of coffee grinds. Even though they're really fine, don't overdo it. So because of the nature of the coffee grounds, this is a great way to help loosen up your soil. It will also absorb water and hold water, so it does help the structure of your soil too. But you want to do a 1 to 3 ratio. That means if you were mixing up, say, a container soil, it would be, and let's say we're using a gallon container, it would be 1 gallon of 
the coffee grounds to three gallons of soil, so a one to three ratio. This way you don't overdo the coffee grounds in your mix. Again, a one to three ratio. Let me just show you how I would break it up and put it into the soil of um, plants that are already planted. All right, now the other way you can do it is one, work it into your soil, and you would do this at times before you plant your plants, of course. This way you don't disturb, disturb the root systems. This is another bag. And this is actually a decaf. The other one was an espresso. This one's a little bit moldy because I've been holding on to it, but don't worry about that. Same thing. You would sprinkle it right onto the top. Now these plants aren't that old. You could leave it just like this, even though I don't have any mulch, which is fine. You could leave it just like this and let it break in. Or after you put down about a quarter of an inch, just mix it into the top. This will incorporate it with the soil life, help break it down, and you could do that all the way across your planted areas. And again, you can do this every three or four weeks. Some people don't mulch. If you don't mulch, this is how you would do it. Now, let's pretend there are no plants right here. And you're gonna take a square foot area, again, keeping it to a one to three ratio, and you would put in a handful to take up one quarter of it, a nice stack, like an inch worth. And then you would mix this down about eight inches deep, and that keeps a nice ratio going for you, yeah, maybe about this much. So you would mix this across the one foot area, mix it in about six to eight inches deep, and that's the general ratio that you would use. And I just want to give you an idea of how to apply it on the surface of your soil with mulch, to the depth of your soil just so that you don't overdo so it. So here's the tomato section that I'm working on. These are my uh, one pound to two pound tomatoes doing a whole video series on those but this is how I would use the coffee grounds. Just wanted to show you what it looks like as I'm talking in the video. But this is worked into about two inches in the top and then I sprinkled some across the top and there is some chatter, can't say if it's true or not, the coffee grounds help prevent soil-borne diseases from happening and maybe you'll try this and you can let me know if you notice a change and it also deters snails and slugs. I can't say that's true but it's an awesome free NPK organic fertilizer that you can use in your garden and I really recommend as I keep saying go to the Starbucks pick up these bags because one bag goes a long way you're going to be able to do a four foot by four foot section. And coffee grounds again organic these bags are absolutely free. You have to do it. Go, you know, on a Sunday, drive around to Starbucks in your general area and, you know, ask for free bags and pick them up. You'll save yourself money. Your plants will enjoy it. And it's really, really good for your garden and good for your garden soil life. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com and also check out my uh, seed and garden shop at www.therustedgarden.com. Thank you.